looks like we're going to have to use the bloody crossbow. Ugh. Uh. Actually, you know what? Let's um, quick spell. <sighs> oh, nice. Reload. Ah, shit. I'm pretty sure we have a weapon at this time, usually. I'm just... Oh, shit. I'm pretty sure I'm just losing the plot. Or I don't remember one of the two. Can we please kill this guy? Die! Thank you. Okay, so uh, I think it's this one. No. Hi there, how you doing? You know what? Sod this. Let's just hit him with one of these. Oh my god, will you just die? For the love of God. What do you have in your head? Are well, those all of the crossbow bolts? <laughs> That's pretty amazing. Not any crossbow bolts down here, is there? Not anything behind here or anything like that? Oh, uh oh. Um, I, need, I, need, I need magic pullback, please. You know what? Try and hit me. Thank you! You know what? I'll be back when this guy's dead. Finally. I would really hate it if I had like a magic pool or something. Never like. Can't do any more. Can't do any more magic for like two minutes. I gotta regenerate. Ruby. And a two edged sword. Hooray. Finally. Let's uh, enchant. And let's also do the. Do we have enough for that? No, we don't. Okay. We'll just do magic pull then. Can we kill this son of a bitch now? Oh, you're going back to the. Go away. Go away. Thank you. We got around here. We got anything? Is this casket in readiness for Brother Andrew's body? Perhaps Augustine is blessing it. Augustine, eh? Hmm. Or perhaps it has a more sinister purpose. It is almost as if the death was expected or arranged. Hmm. Oh, what have we got here? A scroll and we have the shield scroll. scroll. Excellent. Well, I guess we probably have enough to actually do said shield scroll. Go. Let's go upstairs. 
Must be something up here. He's looking at something. Hello? What's this? Oh, music sheet. Fantastic. Oh, oh, oh. Is this another journal? Yes. A diary page. Oops. Dot, dot, dot. I suppose it is understandable that they will not show me the Hand of Judah on such little notice, but I must confess that the preparations they make are most, most unusual. No acts of consecration, no daily prayer or worship are demonstrated by this strange order. One wonders if they are holy at all, let alone being under the auspiciousness of the Grand Inquisition. Perhaps it is an inevitability of our faith that there are many practices associated with it, and they differ greatly from region to region. Perhaps Amiens is merely more eccentric than others. Or oh, perhaps they're the devil's work. Ooh. 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 And some in a building where books and there's many books and blah 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 I think of use really. Let's do the um magic pool. Half Half of my health. Half of my magic, rather. Can you see back there? Oh, he's probably looking at the the mobs that are on top of the thing. By means of bellows and pumps, the pipe organ is able to display deeply moving music. It has the power to inspire faith and to inspire hearts beyond man should we play the organ. A, B, Y, X, B, Y, A. Because with that little bit of music, you can pay that entire thing. We have the five tier of power thingamajingy. The tabernacle is almost empty. There are no, none of the things that would be should be there, such as holy water and other re, 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 circle of power. Yep, five pieces of circle of power. We can't use it yet because we don't have the rune necessary to actually use it. It needs uh, something called. Tear. No. Yeah, tear. And we're down here for the first time ever. This is a new bit of the thing. Let's open the door. Anything down here? Got some crossbow bolts, which we could have gone earlier. A desk bears a leather bound book. Paul has found the Book of Reliquities. This is a Forgeries of the Reliquities, dating back to the late 14th century. Doubtless many obscure orders requiring more income than can be garnered from the teeth result of forging ancient relics to bring people from outside their region to their diocese. And thus become more rooted. Why it could be said that the false hope is still hope, relics such as Cuthbert's jawbone and the hand of Jude and the infamous thigh-boned flute of Connaught while being forgeries, deceived the righteous unjust their existence as true artifacts is utterly heresy. <gasps> so it's a lie! Imagine that! Huh. We're supposed to be going back to the bell tower, aren't we, if we find something of heresy? Huh. Ooh! Near the organist still makes his mountain on the wall. Man, blah, 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 blah. Let's just take a mace. The bellows mechanism supplies the organ upstairs with air. It requires an expert hand and attention to detail to keep it into work in order. An expert hand, whatever. Hello. Give you three guesses what's down here.
Okay, so a wine casket used for maturing wine. The wine inside this one must be very strong. It seeps through the casket, filling the air with a heady aroma. Hmm. There's one around here that's empty. Pretty sure it's this one. Huh. Okay, oh, it is. Knocking on this casket results in a hollow thud. It is empty, but why, when all of the others are full of maturing wine? Okay. Hello there, Mr. Um. Um. Whatever the hell you are. Ugh. How could you miss? You missed. Oh, I got a blue thing. Right, I'm pretty sure we have to put it down here. There we go. The pedestal has three small in dentations adorning its top. Arranging in a circular format, each socket appears to be waiting for something. Oh. Oops. And the first thing we picked up was an emerald. Oh, Christ, hi there. Any more of them? There we go. Okay, I'm gonna recast Magic Pool, because we ran out. I think it lasts for about three minutes. It ain't long. Oh my god! Aha! Holy shitting hell. Come here. Magic room! Basically, you can have to now go through all of these. So, summon creature. Okay. No, let me do this myself actually. Okay, we've done them all now. We can now give out, give myself project area cell. There we go. That's basically just a better version. Of the mourner. I think it lasts for about 10 minutes or so, or gives you more per, I don't know. I'll tell you what we will do there. Let's go on to this. Do enchant item, assign that, that, do that. And do the same. Actually, what are we quick spelling here? So recover sanity. And purple. Let's, let's do that then. So we want to recover that to that, and we're going to, want to recover that to that. Okay, chant item there, and let's let's put that to that. There we go. Now we can easily do that. Okay, cool. I don't know if it does more damage or not. I have no idea, to be honest with you. Didn't look like it does, really. They still took however long to 
to kill. To murderate, as it were. Oh shit! Shitting shit shit. Get in there, get in there! <laughs> Woo. And again. Uh, no. Thank you. Let's get rid of the crossbow bolts. Now, if I remember correctly, that door is locked. Yes, it is. Okay, so. An effigy of a monk reclining on the sacrificial altar, a deep group bisects its chest. The monk's face looks almost like the custodian. The inscription reads, Only when thy friend is sacrificed, when his cries fill the air, will the great doors be open to thee. You didn't expect that one coming, did you, motherfucker? Arcane documents and treatments of the demonic arts. Pa Paul didn't touch them for fear of a taint of evil, evil and such. Crossbow bolts. It's that same thing, pretty much. Anything around here? Does the door just open? The shelf appears to be recessed into the wall, not quite as flush as the others in the room. Almost as if it could slide inward? Ooh. Well, that was easy. <coughs> I think we found an altar. A diary page torn from the place on the shrine. Examine the shrine. A blasphemous shrine stands at the end of the room, dedicated to an unholy god. Paul can sense its evil and finds it difficult to approach. But while we're finding it evil and difficult to approach, let's read a diary page. With the shudder of my heart turned to ice, I came to the brutal realization that the entire order were heretics and that I was in incredible jeopardy. <laughs> jeopardy. Who knew how long they had kept their dark secret masquerading as custodians of the hand of Jude when in fact they guarded a damn relic the essence of the unholy Durga. I used it and used it to lure potential victims to their hideous sacrifice. I felt sick and despite my faith I felt intense fear and hopelessness. I know that I must escape this place before they suspect my knowledge. I must warn the world and notify real of the real inquisition of their presence knowing death is just around the corner and fearing every moment I commit these words to paper. Augustine will find this book. I will remove certain pages and hide them so that all who may follow might discover the truth that is too late. So he put it on the on the shrine itself. You don't really think that people are going to notice that? I'll hide it in the, the podium where everyone goes to. I'll hide it in the shrine that is dedicated to the god that they are uh, worshipping. Um, where was the other one? Ah, no, no, no. Still, we need to go back to the bell tower now. Wait, was that there? I think it was. Yeah. Really could do with some sort of teleport spell. This is just weird and annoying 
Although I must say this trek back isn't as annoying as the one in with Dr. Lindsay, where we had to go back and get the Mantrock spell. Granted, you don't have to go and get the Mantrock spell, but Mantrock is definitely my favourite alignment. Because it's purple. I mean, come on now. God, look at those textures. I'm actually quite surprised, really, because I looked at the, um, the the quality in general, and it was pretty poor. But um, upscaled to 1080, well, not really 1080, I mean, it's whatever that is, I don't know. Um, I'm going to say... Um, 16 something or other by 1080? Yeah, something like that. Still, it is, it, is, it is looking pretty good. I had to fiddle about with the settings quite a bit there. I mean, there's lots of, um, what's the word? There was a bit of interlacing that I had to sort out. Ah, uh, blah, blah, blah. Unless there's something to say about them, I don't want to know. Mr. Custodian, I've found everything. They're like, they're like doing some sort of ritual or some shit. 